I think people will be surprised by a lot that's in the book. He, uh, amazingly brave man. I think no other prime minister, no other political leader I can think of has exhibited such extraordinary physical courage. He went out into no man's land 36 times in the Great War. He didn't have to. He was a, he was a senior politician, but he signed up to, to go and command a, a battalion. And he, just after the airplane had been invented, barely six or seven years after the Wright brothers have got their machine going, he's out there. He's trying to fly a plane himself. He goes up so many times that his wife has to beg him to stop. I don't think people are aware of his, his bravery. I think the, he wasn't as big as all that. People were surprised by that. He was, you know, he, he, he's between five foot six and five foot eight. Nobody is quite sure, but there are some very interesting pictures of him striding out across horse cars when he's looking very much as though he's got kind of Tom Cruise uh, heels on. And that might interest people. I think people have forgotten his progressiveness and the deep sense he had that even though he was this massive toff and you know had lived a life extraordinary privilege, surrounded by all manner of, of luxuries. He understood that you had to govern from the centre in Britain and you had to provide and you had to help those who had it tough. And he was the guy who invented wages councils. Uh, he invented, he uh, lowered the pension age uh, to 65. He came up with the tea break. He was a very, very progressive guy and uh, basically sort of left liberal in a, in a way that I think people have totally forgotten because they think of him as his jut jawed bellicose figure. Actually, we were very reactionary in, in some of his views. Actually, he was very progressive. I think the, the mistake, the greatest mistake with which he will be associated and which it is very difficult for him to shake off, and even his fans find it very difficult to, to justify, was what he had to say about India in the run-up to the Second World War. And there is no question that that language about Gandhi, about Hinduism, was wrong, offensive, and he, he blew it there. And I'm, I'm sure you know, even his most devoted fans would have to concede that.